Welcome to the SGH Room Rapid Review Series. My name is Dr. John Yung, and I will be discussing serologies in rheumatology. The learning objectives are as follows. Terminology, appropriate use of tests, autoantibodies commonly tested for in rheumatology, common associations, clinical relevance of autoantibodies, approach to a patient with suspected rheumatological disease, and finally, a summary checklist. Serology is the study of serum and bodily fluids. In practice, serological tests are tests to identify antibodies. Autoantibodies are antibodies that attack the body's own cells. The role of autoantibodies in rheumatological diseases such as RA and lupus is very complex. Now we will discuss the appropriate use of serological tests. Serological tests aid in the diagnosis and clinical management. They are not diagnostic of rheumatological conditions. Serological tests should be carried out for suspected rheumatological disease. In the absence of this, performing serological tests may be misleading and cause unnecessary concern to the patient. Screening for autoantibodies in a person who is well and completely asymptomatic is not appropriate. These are the autoantibodies that are commonly tested for in rheumatology. Antinuclear antibody, rheumatoid factor, anti-CCP, anti-double-stranded DNA, antihistone antibodies, extractable nuclear antigens, lupus anticoagulant, anticardiolipins, antiphospholipid antibodies, and anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies or ANCA. Serologies that are not commonly tested for are the systemic sclerosis antibody profile and the extended myositis panel. Antinuclear antibody or ANA is associated with rheumatological diseases such as SLE, Sjogren syndrome, scleroderma, MCTD, polymyositis, and dermatomyositis. It is directed against nuclear antigens. And ANA is reported as a theta, either 1 in 400 or 1 in 800, and so on, and a staining pattern of homogeneous speckle or nucleola. A higher theta suggests increased clinical significance. ANA does not correlate with disease activity of the CTD, and there is no need to repeat if the diagnosis is well established. There is no need to test for ENA profile if the ANA is negative. It is not to be used as a screening tool in the absence of clinical findings of a rheumatological disease. Please note that ANA may be present in other non-rheumatological autoimmune diseases such as thyroiditis and as well as infections and cancer. The ENA profile is associated with rheumatological diseases such as SLE, Sjogren's syndrome, scleroderma, MCTD and antisynthetase syndrome. ENAs are specific antigenic targets for ANAs that can be extracted from the nucleus. The ones that we test for are as follows. Anti-Rho, which is found in Sjogren, SLE, congenital heart block in neonates with Rho-positive mothers, Anti-La, which is not as sensitive as Rho for Sjogren's and SLE, Anti-Smith, is very specific for SLE. Anti-SCL70 is very specific for diffuse systemic sclerosis. Anti-RMP, which is found in almost all patients with MCTD, 
and Antijo-1, which is 30% sensitive for polymyositis. Antijo-1 also predicts for anti-synthetase syndrome, which is arthritis, mechanics hands, Raynaud's, and pulmonary fibrosis. Anti-DSDNA is very specific for SLE, but only 60% sensitive. It usually correlates with SLE disease activity, so it is worth rechecking to determine activity for SLE. Antihistone is associated with drug-induced lupus and lupus. It is non-specific, but 90% sensitive for drug-induced lupus and 50% sensitive for SLE. Always bear in mind, drug-induced lupus in elderly patients who are on many medications. Lupus anticoagulant is prothrombotic. Lupus anticoagulant is an antiphospholipid antibody, but the name is misleading. The term was coined because lupus anticoagulant interferes with coagulation assays commonly used. The associations of the antiphospholipid antibodies with thrombosis are as follows. Lupus anticoagulant, anticardiolipin IgG, and followed by anticardiolipin IgM. Antiphospholipid syndrome consists of antiphospholipid test positive that are six weeks apart and an unprovoked thrombotic event fetal loss, or intrauterine growth retardation. Rheumatoid factor is found in rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren's syndrome, sarcoid, and even infections and malignancies. They are non-specific and prevalence increases with age. It's 60% sensitive in RA, and positivity in RA predicts more aggressive disease an extra-articular disease as well. Anti-CCP is highly specific for rheumatoid arthritis. It is 60% sensitive for RA and may be present for years before onset of clinical RA. Positivity for RA suggests more aggressive disease and extra-articular disease. Anchor. There are two tests for testing anchor. They are immunofluorescence and ELISA. In immunofluorescence, there are two staining patterns, C-anchor, which is association with Wigner's granulomatosis, and P-anchor, which is associated with Church-Strauss syndrome, microscopic polyangitis, and polyarthritis nodosa. For ELISA, the specific antigens for most C-anchor is PR3, and for most, P anchor is MPO. These are the systemic sclerosis antibody profile and extended myositis panel that we discuss. This is a summary of the key learning points for rheumatological serologies. Serologies aid in the diagnosis and management of rheumatological conditions. They should not be used for screening asymptomatic patients during health checks. There is a huge range of serologies available for testing, but it must be performed in the context of suspected rheumatological disease derived from history taking and clinical exam. Serology is a powerful tool to aid management, but it can be equally misleading if carried out with no justification. Serologies may be repeated if the diagnosis is not clearly established for confirmatory testing and to monitor disease activity. Please note again that certain infections and malignancies may masquerade as rheumatological disease by causing atypical clinical presentations and positive serologies. Now I'm going to go through few clinical scenarios to illustrate the use of autoantibodies in the management of the patient. 